Let's be candid. Iran is a superpower. We don't normally think of it that way, but it's dominating the Middle East. It's propping up Syria as a colony. Hezbollah is one of its uh, shock troops, but it actually has a footprint here in Canada, too. And joining me now to talk a bit about Iran's strategy for infiltrating and undermining the West is Dr. Emmanuel Otolenghi of the Foundation for the Defense of Democracy. He joins us now from Washington, D.C. Hey, welcome to the show, Dr. Otolenghi. Thank you for having me. You know, I, I learned about this by reading Michael Petru in McLean's magazine. He's outstanding on this kind of research in what Iran is up to here. Now, we have a lot of sanctions against Iran, not just economic sanctions, but we limit what they can do diplomatically. I don't know why we have an embassy here at all, but we allow them to have an embassy and a cultural propaganda outfit in Ottawa. But now they want to set up a school in Montreal that's run out of Iran. I, I'm calling it the Ayatollah School. Should we be worried that this school will pump out many Ayatollahs with the radical Iranian view of the world? Iran has established schools in other parts of the world. They are under the supervision of the Iranian authorities, sometimes through the local consulate and embassies. And the goal of those schools is to promote the values and worldview of the Islamic Republic, first and foremost among Iranian expatriates. So you should be worried because the goal of such an endeavor in Montreal will be to indoctrinate the children and grandchildren of Iranian immigrants who have become Canadian citizens uh, and provide them with a set of values and principles which are inimical uh, to what you expect from your school system in Canada. You know, the organization that's setting this up, I, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, it's the Rastagaran association it sounds a little like rastafarian but i'm quite sure it's a different way here's the website tell me a little bit what do you know about the rastagaran organization they run private schools in iran they have international schools listed on their website uh... what do you know about these folks they're linked to the supreme leader so despite the fact that they present themselves as private and independent uh... they're anything but the goal of these uh... organizations and this is just one of them. There are several uh, that the Iranian regime uses, is to pursue the goals of the Iranian revolution, namely to spread uh, its values well beyond the boundaries and borders of, of Iran and reach out to the further corner of the earth. Uh, the fact that there are immigrant communities in several countries make those countries, of course, uh, a mostly fertile ground for this kind of activity. Uh, Canada is one example. You have a, a big, vibrant uh, immigrant community from Iran. Many of the Iranians who live in Canada, of course, are exiles. They have nothing to do with the regime. They don't want to have anything to do with the regime. But some of them are expatriates. They maintain links back to their, to their homeland. They have family relations there. And most importantly, they probably sympathize to varying degrees with the regime. For the regime, a school is an important tool to ensure that the new generations remain linked uh, and attached to the values of the Islamic Republic and may in due course become uh, friendly uh, sympathizers, supporters, aiders and abettors of the goals and efforts of the Islamic Republic to conduct its business and activities in faraway countries. So we should not look at the school and its efforts as another expression of uh, multiculturalism and the desire of a community to maintain a link to its distinctive cultural background, it is really a tool for the regime to promote its propaganda and advance its missions abroad, which are usually nefarious. You know, you're so right. Not only, I mean, the best case scenario is we'll pump out more propagandists, like the, the type that had that Al Quds hate rally in Toronto on the weekend, but the worst case scenario, I hate to say it, could be what Iran has done through its proxy Hezbollah in places like Argentina, blowing up the Jewish community center, blowing up the Israeli embassy. I am deeply worried about this, and, and I hope we'll, we can keep in touch with you because we need to shine a light of scrutiny on this, Dr. Orlangi, and I thank you for joining us today from Washington. Many thanks for having me.